Good morning, you guys. It is your girl Casey. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, boo. Today is actually February 20th. I don't know why I got so much energy this morning, but I'm just like super excited to be up bright and early in the morning. Well, it's not like super bright and early, it's like 9 20 a.m. And I'm on my way to school because I have a class at 10 a.m. So, you know, you girl gotta be on time, honey to the money to the future money okay period welcome back to my channel if you're new here like i said welcome welcome my hair dropped y'all curls are dropped but another thing i wanted to hurry up and say was to um, update y'all on my eye doctor appointment like i told y'all i never had a chance to like fully go through that with y'all because it was like my birthday and all that other stuff that was going on it was a lot so end up going to the eye doctor and i did like an eye exam i did the pressure exam so the first machine was just i guess to like test the pressure well just to look at a red light so i had to look into this machine and like look down at a red light so i think she was looking at the left and right of my eyes like the white part of my eyes she said everything looks good it was no like inflammation or nothing like that i don't know i think my eyelids are just puffy just because but um also i did the pressure machine where she shot like some type of air was like shot towards my eyeball and I had to look in there and then like she was like you're gonna blink when it like shoot air at you because it's like air spitting out at you like somebody just blown in your eye like <laughs> so basically that was testing the pressure of my eyes and after that she just went through like all the different lenses and the extra chair and then we went through like 20 different lenses she was like okay so does one look better or does two look better does one look better or does two look better and I'm like uh one look better I'm like okay cool and then she like does two look better or three look better two look better three look better or one and three one two three and it was just like she was going through the different lenses over my eyes i mean i can see out of both of my eyes obviously but i can see better out of my right eye versus my left eye and it's not super bad but um i did have to get some glasses y'all she gave me a prescription only when i need them though it's not like i couldn't see or whatever like i said but it's like i guess from a certain distance i can't see like it do start to get a little blurry as far as like the wording like i can see cars i can see everything in front of me but i guess like it's kind of like almost 2020 vision she said but it's like at that 20th mark so probably like 15 feet or like 17 feet i probably can't really see wording that's kind of small <laughs> and it's a little blurry so anyway so she prescribed me some glasses and i've been waiting for about two weeks now for it to come in i brought these cute frames from vogue i think i don't know if it was vogue or i don't remember but i'm at my school i'm about to pull in now y'all actually because i have my class coming up soon but um yeah so that's pretty much that and then my couch comes tomorrow so i'm super excited about my couch wait that a spot up there oh yeah i'm going up there hold on <laughs> I be trying to get as close as I can. As close as I can. I'm turning back around, y'all, so I can go park. But, um, yeah, so she basically was saying that it might be, like, an allergic reaction to, like, products that I was using. So, I don't know if it was, like, my facial cleanser I was using or if it was, like, my um, facial cream that I was putting on my face. So, she was just, like, whatever it is, just stop using it for two weeks because she don't want to give me any type of, like, anti-inflammatory type of medication or cream to put over my eyes if it's not anything like that so um yeah so i just stopped using my uh, facial cleanser that i was using which is the neutrogena one and i'm gonna go back to sarah v and then um pick up my glasses so you guys will see my glasses here and there on the vlog going forward <clears throat> and um yeah i was saying i get my couch tomorrow so i'm super excited about my couch and i'll show y'all some updates around the house and then um yeah so i'll see y'all a little bit later because i'm gonna be at school all day today it is currently 9 a.m i'm probably gonna leave school at like 6 or 7 p.m maybe 8 <laughs> and um yeah i'm just gonna be here all day because i got homework to do it's midterms coming up next week and yeah so i'll see y'all a little later y'all i just restocked on my favorite sparkling water as y'all can see, I have the beach plum, and then I also have the high hibiscus and the cherry and blossom. I haven't tried this one yet because um, I just put them in the fridge, so I didn't open them just yet. 
but this one tastes pretty good the beach plum i feel like it tastes almost like the one i always get which is like the cherry one or something like that i forgot what it was but i feel like it almost tastes the same they all literally almost taste the same like <laughs> All of the boxes were like pretty much the same. This is in like a light pink box. This is in this color pink box. And then this one was in a blue box. But they were literally on sale for like three, four, eleven dollars at Publix. So I just got all three flavors. And then I bought some cereal and some chicken noodle soup. So these are the only noodle cups that y'all gonna find in my house because um I do not like the other noodles, but I feel like the cup noodles taste better than the other noodles. And yeah, y'all can see y'all my nails came off like Whew, ratchet girl <laughs> back to the rats i also still have this bottle that my cousin bought me that i did not drink just yet but i will be drinking and my home girl at the at my birthday dinner she ended up buying me these glasses which i'm super excited to drink from so i'm probably gonna open those in a little while after i'm done cooking dinner and pour me a glass of wine honey Thank you, Jasmine, for getting this for my birthday. Appreciate that, because your girl know I needed these. These glasses are bomb as shit. Let me show y'all, hold on. So the glasses are very delicate, um, but obviously this is pretty much how they look. The base of it is really, really skinny, but um, these are my favorite glasses that I love. It's just like a whole vibe. It goes with the aesthetic, and I feel like you can put like the little, um, the ice balls in there, the round ice balls that you put in there to kind of make it look real sexy and cute. But I only have like the large ones, so y'all see that a little bit later when I put it in there. But I just wanted to show y'all that, and yeah. So I just came back out of Target, and I went to their optical um that's inside of there and i had to pick up my glasses which y'all see in my face <laughs> but these are them here all right y'all so i'm gonna hold the glasses up and y'all let me know if y'all can see this is y'all looking through my glasses it's the same shit like literally look so this is kind of far away but if i come up close y'all can see that's exactly what i see real quick so i'm gonna take them off i just got done um nearing my top lip because i want to use my coconut mask that y'all seen before so if y'all want this y'all can go down in the comment section below and get you some but i feel like their uh their anti-aging cream that i was using was what was irritating my eyes so um the mask i don't use the mask like that so i know it wasn't the mask but it was an anti-aging cream, I believe, that would irritate my eyes. Or it could have been my Neutrogena, I'm not sure. So I just stopped using this and I stopped using the mask, which was um, the Absolute. I'm not sure which one was irritating my face, but I just stopped using them for now. And this is some leftover CeraVe that I had until I buy some more. So I'm going to be using this to wash my face real quick.
Vaseline and put it on my face right before I put my mask on because um, I had some pimples that I popped earlier. I wiped some alcohol on it before I popped it and then I washed my face and now I'm about to put some Vaseline on it because it feels a little like um, sore and I know this mask get really hard so I just want to kind of put it there to kind of soothe it a little bit and because I feel like I got some sore spots in my face even though I know Vaseline clog your pores but I'm only putting it there because I'm about to put the mask on so that's the reason why I'm trying to seal it and soothe it because my eyebrows hurt and I feel like there's like bumps and stuff like on my eyebrows so like I said I was breaking out from something which I didn't know exactly what it was that's why I went to the eye doctor in the first place but um like she said it might have been like allergic reaction to something so I'm not sure I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh wonder mask on from coconut so if you guys haven't seen that video from when I first did that make sure you guys go down in the description box because I will link it down below and I'll link the products down below. This video is not sponsored by the way, <laughs> but um, they did sponsor your girl back in December and I'm just still using some of the products again here in February. So yeah, but I just felt like I needed like a relaxing night, a chill night because your girl been stressing over anatomy and um, chemistry. And we had like midterms this week and next week. So I just need to kind of like relax my mind a little bit so it's just been so much going on so yeah i just want to be like gentle with myself and not so uptight but like i've been like studying so much and then i go to take like my midterm or my exam and i felt like i did really bad on it so i'm like stressing out <laughs> or whatever because i'm like i can't i can't afford to fail these classes like at all and human anatomy is so much to learn that I feel like it's I study and I study and I study and I'm like I still feel like I'm I still feel like there's so much that I'm missing <laughs> and I don't know I, I took the exam today I feel like I got a C on it honestly like I don't know it was like over bones and tissues and things like that so it's just so much like if you're in the medical field or like going to school to be a nurse a dentist or a doctor or a hygienist or whatever you guys know about like microbiology you know about human anatomy and stuff like that how those classes are very challenging but um i mean i really enjoy the class honestly like i really enjoy learning what i'm learning so far but it's just so much to learn so yeah so i just decided to do like a soft girl routine and a um, pamper myself type of night because your girl just been a little stressed and I just wanna come back to normal levels, <laughs> okay? Because I don't like being stressed out. So I'm gonna let this mask sit on my face for like 10 minutes and I'm gonna run me a bubble bath and I'm gonna see y'all in the bath. Hug, baby, okay? Three.
you guys i was so excited to come to bmw in marietta to get my car serviced because your girl needed some brakes and some rotors so they got your girl together and it was half off i think i paid like 435 dollars or something like that when it's usually like a thousand but look at my baby she just looks so clean i'm super excited to finally have those brakes did honey and that was just for the front brakes honey and the front rotors so yeah that's that take a bullet trying to save me then I'm left to do what making you be And that's a whole lot of love ain't trying to waste it Like we be running them out and never make it Hey y'all, so it is probably like a thousand days later um, I have not been recording like that honestly But I'm here at the dog park in my apartment um, With my dog right now So um, just FYI, yes, I did decide to bring my dog with me She was over at my old house if you guys don't know Still trying to get adjusted with her in my house Because she's not potty trained so like I've been buying her wee wee pads right now, but I feel like I need to buy her diapers because she's so old and like she's just so stuck in her ways. But yeah, so let me show y'all her. Say hey to the vlog, Sheba. Say hi. Say hey vlog. Hey vlog. Yeah, I really don't even know what type of dog she is. I think she's like a Panoranium something mix. I'm not sure, but she looks like a wishbone. <laughs> Sheba. Sheba. Say hey to the camera. So I bought her this new uh, flea collar. And I need to get her another collar as well. But yeah, this is like the little doggy park. I just bring her here uh, whenever I can. I try to walk her in the morning time and then bring her out here when I got more freedom or more time after work. And then she got more time to run around and play. But yeah, it's just a little, little dungeon area part of my apartment. Like the apartments are up these stairs basically. So just let her play around. And yeah, that's that. She's just out here playing. I had to wash her paws when she get in the house. <laughs> Shiba, you having fun? You having fun? On booty? Today is March 13th, I believe. I'm actually on my way to go to Jiju which is a sauna slash spa, all that stuff. I'm going with my coworker right now. I'm on spring break and I'm super excited to finally be relaxing. Your girl going to the sauna, going to the spa, going to chill. I didn't do no makeup because um, I figured we're gonna be like sweating and everything and just walking around in the sauna. So that is where I'm about to go right now. And I'll show you guys basically where it is. It's in Duluth, Georgia. So, um, yeah. Stay in the second lane from right. It really wasn't that bad. I think it was like $35 for you to even get in. I think it was like $100 or $120 per massage or whatever you want to get. If you want to get your nails done, you can get your nails done and stuff there as well. So you guys will see when I um, pull up or whatever. And I'll, I'll show you guys once I get there. But yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. So I'm going to see y'all when I get there because I don't want to waste no battery. And I don't want to take up no storage in my phone. So... So first when walking in, we didn't know what to expect. So we just brought all our stuff with us and I brought my camera because I'm thinking I was going to be able to record. But we walked in, we paid our $35 and they ended up keeping our IDs at the register. And then they told us to walk to the woman's side and these are our lockers. So this is where you put all your stuff in and all your clothes. And then the sauna is just pretty much everywhere on that side. You can walk around. But this is literally all I can record you guys because I'm not even supposed to be recording in there. And these are the orange shorts they gave us and they also gave us like an orange top. But this is what you wore in the common area and i'll kind of go into more details with y'all about it later but yeah i just want to show y'all this real quick 